what's up guys here is a muscle bro china i'm just off from my subway actually now i'm at the renton station this district is new let me just show you those buildings okay have a look really good weather today especially the building groups here really really impressive Yeah, the new suburb actually is kind of a uh, new CBD in Nanjing city. If I don't tell you I'm in China, which country do you think I am? Unbelievable, right? Okay, so today we're going to be talking about, uh, I want to focus on, how do I say, can communist country building really, really strong economy? Okay, so when I was living in New Zealand, and I read so many articles to predict China economic going to collapse and China going to down, don't going to be down, China blah blah China blah blah blah. Okay, and, and a short period I trust a little bit, okay, because I feel it makes sense if people, you know, all be like a controlled or something. So how can people build a good life or people must be uh, living under how do I say pressure or something but uh, since I come back and I realized that all the thing actually was not true the the fact the facts have, have already proved communist country can be a really really strong economy okay if you look at that, look at those buildings because uh, I'm mounting my camera on the bike, so I can only show you guys the web. But if you, if you guys can pay attention on the background where I'm past, you guys can see those car really the fancy, all this beauty, quite new. Actually, the, the inside the road is extremely wide when you can imagine. So then I realized that that's not true. Um, I read a kind of news in New Zealand from America and they're trying to convince people how do I say uh, China using media to manipulate uh, uh, people's mind and now I start to thinking is American also using media to manipulate people as well because obviously uh, the Western people thinking about China and the real China are totally two different China. Okay, so since I come back, I can tell this moment of China economic still be affected by the COVID, you know, COVID-19, but it doesn't really change people's life. People still go out for party. People still buy new cars and. Uh, I just experienced the double eleven shopping festival in China. I also bought so many things here. And things are quite good quality with the cheap price. Okay, so in here I want to focus on you cannot compare it with a made in China 10 bucks t-shirt with a made in USA 100 bucks t-shirt. That's not fair. But in another way, do you really need a t-shirt which is costing you 100 bucks? Are you going to wear the t-shirt for a lifetime? Or normally you just change your t-shirt every season or every year. And once you know you realize uh, you get your own answer, you might can understand why those days made in China is a really 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 popular. Okay? And uh, the, the, the another thing kind of uh, impressed me is uh, these days we're on the on the street. I can see so many China manufacturing uh, electricity, electronic car. You know those those cars really really good. You know, like a really big screen, like a, on the panel screen, so big, really really smart. You know, uh, yeah, just uh, so many things. It's uh, really really changed my mind. Actually, in China platform, I also uh, have my another channel, which is kind of uh, introduce uh, Western culture to China. 
So in this channel, the English channel, I want to show you guys a real China. You know, uh, like uh, from uh, another side. You know, not just uh, the Western media. Okay, I'm nearly get home now. So if you guys are uh, interested on uh, knowing another side of the world, please subscribe my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Peace.